Hey, it's Looney Got the Tunes, producer out of Salt Lake City, Utah, here to wish hip hop a happy 50th birthday. I've narrowed it down to one after lots of thought that went into this because it's hard for me to pinpoint one person but I would say Dr. Dre had the biggest impact on me uh, because at the time where I first heard it it was it was new uh, not only new to me but his his style of, of producing um, was different at the time so for me this was around 2000 nine, late 99 2000 and it started with the chronic um, for me, that's a legendary album that sets the standard as far as hip hop, not only West Coast, but in general. Um, he kind of set, you know, set the mark on the sampling, the, 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 the funk vibes, the, you know, the, the gangster lyrics after N.W.A. and his split from N.W.A. Uh, that was his first album. So um, it was just a great project in general, but it really had an impact on me because I love funk music. Um, and he, he, he sampled a lot of like the 80s stuff, 70s stuff, like uh, the one track, uh, <clears throat> Nothing But A G Thing. Samples a song called I Wanna Do Something Freaky To You uh, by Leon Haywood, I believe. Um, and so that sample right there is pretty much the heart of that song. And, you know, obviously I didn't know that at first, but now after going back and, and, and doing my history and all that, I've come to find out how much he actually sampled um, and did it to a point where it wasn't too much um, or too many samples. It was just either one or two. And he kind of just built live instrumentation on top of that. So for me, that was, that was very unique. Um, so, for me, Dre is one of the greatest he will ever be. That album is going to be one of the greatest. Um, and so to be able to learn from that and, and appreciate some of the artists that he was bringing in at the time, like Daz, Snoop, Lady of Rage, Nate Dogg, Corrupt, RBX, you know, the whole Death Row movement was kind of introduced by Dre at that point. And so that was, that was a game changer, you know, again, not only for the West Coast, but for rap, hip hop in general, that was probably one of the, the albums that just kind of opened the doors for a lot of people. So I say uh, Dr. Dre is probably my most influential producer of all time. If I could produce an album right now with someone, I would say Wiz Khalifa. And I've said this before, um, but I feel like he influenced my my style in a sense uh, when he was coming up uh, with the sound that he he chose to kind of go with. He kind of he he kind of started his own lane per se. But um, producers that he worked with back then, like Johnny Giuliano, Sledgen, um, ID Labs, those guys are very uh, influential in a way to me on how I produce and how, you know, the, 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 the type of beats that I like to make. So uh, with that said, I think me and Wiz could sound dope together uh, because he influences a lot of my, my style um, with his earlier stuff back in the day with like Prince of the City, Prince of the City 2, um, Flight School, those projects right there were huge on me when I started making beats. So <clears throat> to get a chance to work with him would be very, very dope. I think we would do some cool shit. Um, so yeah, I would go with Wiz, even though there's many others. I would put Bone Thugs next to that. Um, but I think Wiz and I would make some pretty cool stuff.
I would say the 2000s, the mid 2000s with the, you know, the whole throwback jerseys, um, Air Force Ones, you know, um, the denim, Rockaware FUBU was big at the time. Um, I think that was very part of my style uh, growing up. So I think that that time for, for rap or hip hop was huge. There was a lot of artists that were pushing that that kind of that that fashion <clears throat> like Nelly, you know, uh, Dipset, um, even guys out West Coast like West Side Connection, the whole Jersey thing, that was very huge. Um, and it, it it influenced my style, I guess, at the time. Um, I'm a big sports fan, so I think that that era was very, it, it's still part of me in a way. To any up and coming producer, um, you know, there'll be those days where you're gonna doubt yourself. People will doubt you. Uh, stay strong, keep going, believe in yourself, and keep growing, you know, keep learning from hip hop.